it's a windy afternoon here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Behind me stands Iron Mike. He stood at Fort Bragg for many years as a beacon to many soldiers uh, serving our country. A lot of special forces and military folks there. I'm proud to have served the United States Army myself. I served during the Gulf War period and uh, got out of the military back in 92. So that's a whole nother century. So here we are in a new one. And now we're in another decade gone by 2010 to 2020. This December is the doorway into an entire new decade, 2020. I want to spend some time to debrief the past 10 years, reflect on some things that's happened, and share some moments with you in this uh, longer than two minute video today that I hope will be uh, informational, uh, reflective, and inspirational for you. So let's jump into some things I'd like to share with you that's happened over the past 10 years. A new decade, 2010, January 4th. The Department of Health and Human Services Centers for Disease Control and Prevention removed HIV infection from its list of communicable diseases of public health significance. January 12th, an earthquake devastates Haiti, killing approximately 160,000 people, destroying the majority of the capital at Port-au-Prince. January 26th, after six consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth, the UK economy officially finally comes out of recession with a GDP growth at 0.1%. February 13th, a bombing at the German bakery in Pune, India kills 10 and injures 60 more. March 29th, two female suicide bombers hit the Moscow metro system at the peak of the morning rush hour, killing 40 people. April 12th, a train derailed near Murano, Italy after running into a landslide, causing nine deaths and injuring 28 people. April 20th, the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig explodes, killing 11 and causing the rig to sink, causing a massive oil discharge into the Gulf of Mexico and an environmental disaster taking years to clean up. It's May 11th and David Cameron becomes Prime Minister of the UK after forming a coalition government between the Liberal Democrats and his own Conservative Party. May 14th, the 51,700 seat Aviva Stadium is finally open to the famous old Lansdowne Road Stadium in Dublin by Irish Prime Minister Brian Cohen. May 15th, Jessica Watson, 16 years old, becomes the youngest person to sail solo nonstop and unassisted around the world. I don't think it would have been my daughter to do that. <laughs> May 22nd, Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus's remains are reburied in the Frombrook Cathedral in Poland after a 200 year search for his tomb. June 3rd, Canadian sportscaster Ron McLean saves a man from drowning in the Delaware River in Philadelphia. September 4th, Canterbury earthquake, a 7.1 magnitude earthquake which struck the South Island of New Zealand at 4.35 a.m. causing widespread damage and several power outages. The Capiapo mining accident in Chile becomes a happy ending as all 33 miners arrive to the surface after surviving a record 69 days underground. The world watched the show on TV. It was amazing. November 13th, Australian rock band Powderfinger performs their last concert at the Brisbane River State. There was an engagement announced November 16th between Prince William and Catherine Kate Middleton at Clarence House, London. November 19th, New Zealand suffers its worst mining disaster since 1914 when the first of four explosions occurs at the Pike River Mine. 29 people are killed. It's December of 2010, a record price for a printed book when at first edition, The Birds of America was auctioned at Sotheby's in London, England for 7,320,250 pounds. It's a lot of money. <laughs> December 8th, with the second launch of the SpaceX Dragon, SpaceX becomes the first privately held company to successfully launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft. Y'all know who that was, don't you? It's December 31st. A zombie show called The Walking Dead premieres on television on the AMC channel. The courage of life is often a less dramatic spectacle than the courage of a final moment. But it is no less a magnificent mixture of triumph and tragedy. George Washington. What happened for you in the year 2010? Looked at a whole new decade. A lot of us thought, wow, it's 2010, and here we are. Wow, it's 2020. What are you going to do in this new decade? You have nothing but opportunity in front of you. 
proclaiming that 2020 is a year of clarity. And clarity, it breeds confidence and courage. Well, I hope you've enjoyed some of the highlights and, uh, and unfortunately had to relive some of the lowlights of things like that in the year of 2010 as we launched into another year, another decade, 2020. Crazy thing, right? Here we are, 2020. I'm considering it to be an opportunity, a year of clarity. Clarity gives birth to confidence and courage. I surely hope it does for you. If you'd like to look into more of that and what it means for you in your life, hit me up. I'd love to talk to you about it. Well, there's old Mike. Here's old Matt. I'll see you for the rest of the series. Thanks for watching.